I'm Leslie Waters and I'm here today to cook up some fantastic pancakes, well I hope they're fantastic, for the Big Brecky Autism Wessex. And you can also have a go at these if you want to. They're so easy to make. So first thing you need to do is to make your batter. And in here I'm going to put some self-raising flour. So these are going to be thick American style pancakes going in. Little bit of sugar. Baking powder, I know I'm using self-raising, but the baking powder will give them an extra bit of woof. So mix your dry ingredients together first, make a well in the center, crack in your eggs. One goes in, and the other. Make these by hand, you don't need electric beaters for this. Then what I do is I add a little bit of milk, and then take a whisk, and just give them a good old bash and just slowly work that in. Add a bit more milk and then just keep mixing until you have a nice smooth batter. Lovely. Ready to cook them. So to cook them you need a nice big non-stick frying pan and I'm going to put a little bit of rapeseed oil in there and butter. I'm using the two because that will stop the butter from burning and just let that melt in the pan. Meanwhile, back at the range, cook off some bacon. All right, now these are going to be berry pancakes with bacon. Sounds a bit strange, but oh, the two together is fantastic. Um, I first had this in America, in New York, and they used to serve it with maple syrup. But we're not going to do that, we're going to do something very British. I'll talk to you about that in a moment. So, let's now take our batter, and what we're going to do is we're just going to spoon in. I wouldn't do any more than three at a time. And don't worry if they're not perfectly circular, it really doesn't matter but round about the same amount of batter. And if you look in that pan there, you can see that they've gone slightly oval. It doesn't matter. You can always use your spoon if you want them to be rounder and just use the back of the spoon. But you can see they're starting to set up already. That's just gonna take a couple of minutes each side. And while they're cooking, I'm going to make the sauce that's going to go with them. And that is orange juice in the pan along with some lovely honey. So as I said before, this used to be done with maple, but we're going to do this with lovely local honey from Dorset and a little bit of orange juice. I'm just going to whirl that around. Now with this also, we're going to have some berries. We've got raspberries and we've got blueberries. And in here now with these pancakes, you can see that we're getting nice big bubbles up here. Let's just have a little look at this. Oh, they're looking good. Let's have a little flip over as we go and you can see nice big bubbles on the top of the pancakes. And we're just gonna flip that over and they're almost ready to serve. I'm going to now pop in blueberries into there. Oh, and I'm going to put in raspberries into my syrup. And I think we are just about ready to serve. If you like a little bit of pepper, I love pepper, pepper and fruits. I know it sounds a bit bizarre, but it's delicious. Let's get our plate. Mm, smelling good. Let's have a look at the underside of the pancake. And you can see there that's a really nice color. So that's going to go on the plate like that. Then I'm going to take my syrup. And I'm just going to just spoon that over the top of the pancakes like that. Next one just goes on the top on a jaunty angle. Why not? And then the rest of your fruits going on there. Oh, just pile them on. And then to finish off, some crispy bacon on the top and then take any extra syrup that you've got in that pan 
and just pour it all over the top. Berry pancakes with crispy bacon and lovely honey and orange sauce. Yum.